Hello, Dave Brennan with Case IHA. We're going to spend just a, a minute going through the prescription import um, on the Pro 1200 user interface running a 2000 series Case IHA the riser planner. So the first thing we want to do is go to the main menu and then click on that data tab. And this is going to be bringing in a shapefile prescription via a USB memory stick. So we've created that shape file based off of soil types, based off of agronomic information, whatever it may be. Uh, we've got that prescription created. So then I'm going to come to import over here on the right hand side. And I see that I'm pulling off of this after I've selected uh, the USB option of shape file. And I'll hit select. That's going to bring in that uh, shape file over here. And I'm going to hit select all. And I want to import that selected file. So that's going to bring that shape file off of my USB into um, the memory of the uh, display. So I'm going to, I know it's a prescription, so I'm going to go ahead and tell this display that it's a prescription. I want to select the grower information. So this is going to be my grower farm and field. We're down here at the University of Arizona. I'm going to select him. This farm information is going to be that 18 4 South. And I'm going to select that field, and I'm in F34. I'm going to go ahead and select that information. Then I need to come down and select the prescription form. So we're going to select the seed. This could be for a liquid application or multiple other uh, applications as well, product applications. So then I'm going to come down to my default default prescription target, and you'll see that it's 31,000. So we want to be very careful here that we select SDS or seeds per acre, not 1,000 seeds per acre. You're gonna be planting a lot more uh, than you want it to. So we're gonna select that, hit import. It's gonna go ahead and go through that import process and make that available to us to apply to this field. So we'll do that here in a second. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace that one because it's, it's a prescription that I'd already uh, had named and brought in. So it's gonna go ahead and replace it kind of doubled those up a little bit. All right, so give me the green check mark. That import is complete. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to my um, operations menu, and I'm going to confirm that the grower farm field all match what I selected, as well as the crop type. I'm going to scroll down, verifying along the way, implement work condition is correct, tractor style, my seed, um, boom is set up correctly that I've assigned, uh, in this case, a product of corn to uh, a variety name to rows 1 through 12. Uh, I've got my default rate set in there, product assigned, as I said, I'm going to go to prescription, and you're going to see that prescription that we had brought in earlier, that shape file prescription. So it's going to go ahead and bring that in for me, um, and, I, and I've got that selected. Now I can come back, we'll X out of there, and now I want to confirm that this prescription is is actually uh, imported. So I'm going to go down here to my map screen. And when I get into the map screen, I can change my layer. And you'll notice any of these uh, layers that I can select have an arrow to the right. I can select that arrow to the right, and then I can check that background. Now that background, I'll turn it on. It's going to be an RX. That's my prescription. Go ahead and turn that on. Oops, touch the button correctly there. All right, we'll apply it. We'll apply it again. And we'll see that that prescription came in. So you're going to see the different various zones, different rates, all going to be ready for application as I start to make my passes back and forth across the field.